She's back. She's alive. She's better than ever. That's a lie. I'm not better than ever. Oh my god, sake, Niall! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine, this is my One Direction channel. I do have a main channel, link in the description. Please check it out, subscribe there. Lots of content over there for you guys. I try my best. <clears throat> I was on Twitter the other day, scrolling through, as you do when you go on Twitter, and I saw this thread that someone made of Niall Stan's Wild In, and I didn't read it, because as soon as I saw it, I got the idea to make this video where I go through a bunch of those blah 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 stands wild in and share the tweets with you and react to them with you. It's a lot, so we're gonna experience that together here on Hey Angel today and I'm kinda excited about it. I love digging through really weird tweets and sharing them with you. If you haven't seen my Reading One Direction's Thirst Tweets video, I'll link it down below, you should definitely check that out. Speaking of Twitter, my personal Twitter got suspended a couple of months ago. So I had to make a new Twitter. So if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, you should definitely check out my Twitter. It'll be down in the description, but it is at JZS Marie. Sorry, gotta do the promo, I have to, I have to. While I have you here though, make sure you guys subscribe down below if you haven't already. I make new One Direction videos all the time. Pretty soon I'm going to be getting into some news videos. Anyways, let's just get into One Direction stands Wildin out. <laughs> So, to kick off this video, the first thread that I have for you guys is called Louie's Wild in a thread. This thread was created by Laura at Louie Runs Pop. The first tweet is by Yes Poppy at LWT Sweetener. It says Louie with Clifford. And it has the dog. This is, this is some, yeah, I couldn't imagine him tongue kissing his dog. You know who I could imagine him tongue kissing though? The next tweet is by, well, it's not a tweet. It looks like a group chat message. It says, Loki, I would have a threesome with Louie and Zayn. I said what I said. Heike, I would have a threesome with Louie and Zayn. I said what I said. Next tweet is by at only gay vodka. It says, some dirty thoughts I have. Is that Louie's hands for real? Louie's hands aren't all that. I feel like Harry has the best hands. Like Harry's hands. Polly at Gay Disaster um, says, is he holding it to make sure the weight of his big dick doesn't rip his jeans? Wait, I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, he's holding his crotch in this picture. The next tweet is by at Finest LWT. Okay, can like Louie be my sugar daddy? I will literally do anything he would ask for. Want me to suck your toes, sir? On it. Want me to massage your feet, sir? You don't have to ask for it twice. Want to throw myself off a cliff, sir? Gladly. Honestly, I resonate with this a lot. Yeah, I would do anything for Louie Tomlinson. At Louis on Fire says, I wish I could have dick so I can fuck him till I die. That's a new one. Cat at Earth Louis says, Bald Louis. He looks like an evil mastermind. That is enough of Louis's wild in. This thread is called Nile Stands Are on Crack, a thread. This was made by at Finally Freeze. Thank you for your service. The first one is by Jade at Niles. He looks so yeetable, I really wanna push him over IDK. Wait, isn't this a stolen tweet? I mean, not to call you out or anything. <laughs> this is not an exposing video, but there was a picture of Louie like standing in the snow and someone used the caption, the same thing. He looks so yeetable, I really wanna push him over IDK. In other news, he does look really eatable though. Okay, the next one is by M. Mrs. Nile at Tidiest Horan. Imagine going to the bathroom after waking up in the middle of the night. It's pitch black and you sit down. Suddenly, Nile snakes up out of the bowl and asks if you're going regularly. You say yes and he nods before he slithers back down into the pipes. Y'all really are on crack. Where are you getting it from? The next one is a series of tweets. The first one says, that isn't cool. It's devastating to lose your hair. Then the next tweet, shall I get my violin out? Then they said, one day it'll happen to you. And she said, I'm already bald from listening to Flickr. Don't come for my culture. Imagine Niall Horan crawling inside your ear. You tell him to stop, but he is in there. M at In My Flickr says, this is the most tragic thing to happen to Taylor. Niall is literally right there and she had no idea. I scream every time I see this picture. Okay, so this girl on the steps was like, posing in front of the steps and she's a Niall stan. And Niall is literally back behind her on those steps that she's posing in front of and she has no idea. That is 
bitch, that is heartbreaking. I'm so sorry that that happened to you. If that happened to me, I would have a breakdown every day for the rest of my life. This girl from Mexico told her parents she was going to the mall, but she took a flight to Chicago to see Niall. What a fucking legend. G girl in this picture, if you're watching this, I respect you so much. She said, bye mom, I'm going to the mall. Bitch said skirt skirt on a plane going to see Niall. If Niall Horan eated soap, he don't eat it because he did. No, he didn't. <laughs> what? Is it too much to ask? I just started seeing too much to ask and this girl's at is too much to ask and I didn't even, my mind is so fat. If I ever get diagnosed with pregnancy, I'm getting those special headphones for your belly and blasting mirrors 24 seven at full volume so the tiny bitch knows what's coming. If I ever get diagnosed with pregnancy, diagnosed with pregnancy diagnosed this person said Niall Horan killed XX tentacle Tion I don't know his name when it comes to X there was so much drama at one point because people found this tweet that he tweeted a long time ago calling One Direction the F word everyone was attacking him and some of the stuff they were saying was so out of pocket he got what he deserved at O Fireway says, if you ever feel bad, remember that during my Nile show, we were supposed to hold up a paper with positive messages during mirrors. And when the song finished, I realized I grabbed the wrong paper from my purse and I was holding up the 10% off chicken pamphlet the whole time, front row. The dumb bitch energy that sweet radiates, I can relate to. The next one we have is called Harry's Wild and Out, a thread. By um, Styles Inya. Thank you. For the thread your hard work is appreciated first one is by beta at medicine pill says can you believe harry actually sits on the toilet sometimes to take a shit and he looks like someone who shits with the door open slash unlocked you know what harry really does look like the type of person who would take a shit with the door open or unlocked he seems like the type of person who would do that at tasted kissy says harry literally uses a washing machine i'm about to cry that's so cute honestly <laughs> like harry uses a washing machine he whole ass takes his dirty clothes and puts them in the machine, puts them detergent, perhaps a Tide Pod or two, presses start, and the machine starts shaking. At Ever Since New York Vogue says, fuck your zodiac sign. Would you rather use Harry's cum as a moisturizer, conditioner, or a face mask? All of the above? Jen at Harry Style. If I was dating Harry and y'all called it a PR stunt, I would post a story with his dick in my mouth. <laughs> That's a mood. If I was dating a celebrity and fans were constantly at my throat like, she's fake, it's a publicity stunt, she's a beard, I would 10 out of 10 go on my story like, with my man, with his whole ass little friend in my mouth. I mean, I'm a Larry, but I'm not the type of Larry who hates on Eleanor, and I'm not the type of directioner that hates on their girlfriends. Because even if a girlfriend is a publicity stunt, or a beard that doesn't mean that they deserve hate they're human beings who are doing a job at choose love he's harry edward styles just think of them as hush puppies and it's harry's feet i what is with y'all in loving harry and louis feet i don't i mean i love them with my whole ass heart but not enough to go foot fetish this person said Imagine turkey hybrid Harry with his eyes big on the side of his head, beak sharp and his snood hanging down just flapping in the wind. <laughs> his tail feathers ruffling and shaking. He lets out a soft gobble when he's coming which makes the farmer go crazy. This girl takes the cake for the most cracked stand. What are you talking about? Style Elmeo says, I literally just stole merch from Harry. Didn't even try. They put my $60 sign of the time sweatshirt in a bag and rung up Amanda and Lydia while I stood there waiting and nobody ever asked me to pay. I walked away, treat people with kindness bag secured, bank account undisturbed. Y'all, you gotta pay for your Harry merch. We have to give him our coin. He don't need it, but we still gotta give it to him anyway. I will gladly throw all my money away for all five of the One Direction boys. Yes, I said five. I recently ordered the black treat people with kindness hoodie. It was like $85, but you know what? In this economy, we give our faves all our money. Kai at ever since Fenty says, it's sad how in a few years I'm going to be riding another man's dick while thinking about Harry. As long as your man knows that you love Harry Styles, I'd say it's gonna be all right. So the next thread that we're going to be looking at together here on Hey Angel is a thread called One D Stand Wildin, a thread. One, someone tweeted and said, anyone who votes One Direction is a privileged scumbag like you. Spoiled kids make me wanna puke. 
because the original was a poll, which is better, One Direction or the military. Then the person who posted the poll replied and said, One Direction literally fought for our right to be skinny in America. El Mayo opened a history book. This one just says, when everyone attacks Niall over his chicken. So Niall posted a picture on his story of him about to put chicken in the oven. Then everyone attacked him, like, where's the seasoning? So then he posted another one and said, the seasoning is on, everyone calm down. On where? The floor? Perhaps the counter? Because I know it is not on that bird. So it was Ochoa Questions, which is on the road again, if you don't know. I keep gesturing with my hand so much, somebody come get me, that's annoying. The question was, what was slash is your Otra date? Someone quoted it and said, the 5th, the 6th, 13th of June, 24th, 26th, 28th, 29th, 30th of September, 10th, 11th, 16th, 17th, 25th, 27th, 29th, 30th, and 31st of October. Then someone else posted that and said, she went to more Otra shows than Zane. <laughs> After I got my On The Road Again tickets, I was really excited. When I first got them, it was before Zayn left and before Zayn stopped touring with One Direction whatever. And I remember I was with my aunt. She was like, oh, hey, did you hear that Zayn isn't going to be finishing the, I think it was the Asian leg of the tour? I don't know. Some portion of the tour, she was like, yeah, he's not going to be touring with them because something happened, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, well, at least he'll be on the American leg of the tour. But then a couple weeks later, it was March 25th and he left. He left in March and my show was in July, so I didn't get to see Zayn. I never have. I had no idea it was coming. I said, oh, it's fine. He'll be on the American leg of the tour. No. No, he would not be. True and correct. Story from the Stately Herald today, which claims that a 15-year-old Swedish girl is auctioning off her virginity in order to raise funds to buy tickets to a One Direction on the road again tour gig. I would auction off my entire life savings all of my assets, everything important to me, my whole family, and all of their assets, and everything important to them to go to On The Road Again. This person said, the boys need to chart, go crazy, buy Made In The AM, and literally posted his credit card information. Me, when Louis album drops. I think what we've learned here in this video together today is that One Direction stands have been wild since the beginning, and they will continue to be wild. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below. Also, please be sure to subscribe to my main channel, Jasmine Zaid, link in the description. If you ever have any video ideas for me, you can leave them in the comments or tweet them to me or DM them to me on Instagram, whatever you want to do. Got you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace and blessings. Bye.